Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 edition of Super Chat with Jen. I am Janelle Thongs, your Miss Supernational Trinidad and Tobago, and here with me is some of the delegates of the Mr. Supernational Trinidad and Tobago 2022 pageant. Guys, how are we feeling? Are we feeling okay? Are we excited for this moment? Trinidad and Tobago, these men are the definition of what you call aspirational and inspirational. And I'm so happy to be here with you guys this evening to host the very first episode. This is Super Chat. You, the listening and viewing public, will have the opportunity to get to know these guys more intimately as they speak about themselves, their areas, and the things that they are passionate about. Don't forget that you can always go on to the website. That's www.crownsandsashestt.com where you can vote for your favorite delegate through our Choicely app. So gentlemen, I'm not too sure if you guys are aware, so we're going to just take this moment to let you, you and the public, everyone, to know that the winners of the Super Chat, one male and one female, will go straight to the top three on Coronation Nights. Yes. So... Rounds of applause for that. <laughs> We're going to begin with Mr. Gasparillo. Tell us more about yourself. Buenas noches, Udenafant, Bumniti, and good evening, everyone. I am Aaron Mohammed, Mr. Gasparillo. And you may be wondering, what did he just say? But I'm fluent in Spanish, Dutch, and Tarantong. I picked up these languages in my trips as a missionary throughout South America. And also, if I could, if I could uh, uh, elaborate on that, is that through these mission trips, I learned servant leadership. Servant leadership has helped me network and connect with so many people around the world and locally, through which I have started an initiative to plant fruit trees all over the country. I hope that this can bring some joy and love and peace and actually feed some people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Or should I say gracias, Aaron? Thank you so much for that. De nada. <laughs> and now we go on to Mr. Sangri Grandi. Pleasant good night, everyone. My name is Anderson Subiran. I represent Sangri Grandi. I'm age 22. Um, a bit about myself, I am very passionate about dance uh, and anything within the arts itself. That could be music, dance, drama. Those are my passion drawing as well. I also started a dance group called Legacy. Um, so you will be seeing them in a lot of music videos and stuff. We already started. I am also a technician, started my own business named Boss Devices TT. I started it from scratch, doing it for myself. And um, yeah, that's, that's a bit about me. Um, back to you, Jimmy. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Sanagandhi. So we can see we have an entrepreneur on our hands who's passionate about dance. I love that. Next, we go on to, we're just going to go a little bit more west, but still east. Let's go to Mr. San Juan. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Sean Gabriel, and I come from the beautiful, colorful, diverse community of San Juan. I'm a cybersecurity analyst by trade, and I also have experience in the radio frequency engineering field as well. My downtime, I tend to spend time doing cycling, hiking, photography, which I do have a professional certificate in, as well as self-defense, which is one of the reasons I got into this competition to help with reaching out to assist those who may need help when it comes to self-defense training. In my downtime, I'm just your easygoing everyday guy and you'll get to experience more of me as we go along. Thank you. So we can see Mr. Salman does a little bit of it all. Okay, we're gonna head even further west. We're gonna go all the way to Diego Martin. Janelle, my super brothers, and the listening and viewing public, both nationally and internationally, good evening. I am Winter Mason, your Mr. Supernational representative for Diego Martin. I am an accountant by profession, a fitness enthusiast, and also a part-time mother. But of all the things I have done in my past, nothing surpasses the time and energy that I put into my family. 
And that is where my community service initiative was basically birthed from, the love for my younger siblings. And it's named Project Big Brother. I am a lover of nature. I find absolute peace and serenity in going on hikes or simply going to the crystal clear blue waters of the Blue Basin Waterfall. And bet you, if I'm missing, I'm somewhere in the bush. And I'm so happy to be here this evening to share a bit about myself with you guys. Thanks, Janelle. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Diego Martin. All right, up next, we have Mr. Arima. Good evening, Janelle. Thank you so much for having me. Good evening to the rest of my super brothers. Always great to see you. My name is Jonathan Samuel. I'm 29 years old, and I represent the beautiful area of Arima. I am a certified chef by trade. <laughs> I'm trained in culinary arts as well as hospitality. But even though I am trained in culinary arts, I gravitated towards the field of hospitality and customer service because I developed a love and passion for people and for service and for making someone's experience a bit better than it was before. And that is directly tied into my community services initiative, which is Have a Little, Give a Lot, The Art of the Domino Effect. And I look forward to speaking about that later on with you, Janelle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Rima. I love that. Have a little, give a lot. That's something that we can all live by. And now we're heading to the only South man in the group, Mr. Saparia. How are you this evening? Good evening, Janelle. Good evening to my brothers and to the viewing and listening audience. How are you all? I'm great. Hi, everyone. I am Sean Paul, Mr. Saparia 2022. Um, so ever since I was a little child, I always had the passion for dance and sports. So this is why I created my initiative called Culture and Sport is We. So I am so passionate about bringing the youths in my community from the ground up and building them emotionally, physically and holistically developing themselves into becoming better role models for themselves as well as the other generations. I tend to be one of those adventurous types of individuals, but yet still shy. So I always try my best to become the best version of myself. Thanks, Jen. Thank you so much, Mr. Saparia. Well done, guys. You have made it through your first round of your Super Chat. I hope that we're all relaxed. We're chilling. <laughs> this is just a conversation between us. But of course, we have some people looking in on us right now. So we're just going to go on to the second round of your Super Chat. Um, judges, your judges and your supporters from all over just got to see a sneak peek on who you really are. Oftentimes in pageantry, they just see your handsome face, but they don't get to really see what's in your mind and what's in your heart. And that's what this evening is all about. So in this round, I'm going to ask you one question. We want to see how intelligent and goal-oriented you are. Remember, guys, this is a time to impress your judges, your fans, your friends, all your well-wishers, and of course, to shake up the competition a bit. All right, so let's see, what are you going to do to inspire the future generation of Trinidad and Tobago? So we begin this round with Mr. Gasparello. Hi, Jen, how are you? Hi. I love that question. <laughs> I haven't uh, answered your question just yet. So now I we're going to ask you to inspire, to inspire <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> yes, so I'm now going to ask you a question. What is one of the greatest challenges you have encountered during this competition and what are your newfound coping strategies yeah wonderful there are many challenges when you want to become a role model a model to be in the public eye one of those that i faced was uh scrutiny from the public i think all all of my brothers and sisters in these pageantries um will have experienced the same thing and uh it has been a lot of pressure to deal with it, but my coping mechanism has been meditation and leaning on those who are my friends and families that are very close to me. They have been offering a lot of support, and I believe that's, that's the key. You just need three or four people right around you, solid people to keep you going and that you can lean on in times of weakness. That's my coping mechanism. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for that, Aaron. I can certainly agree. Um, being in this industry, you certainly have those times where uh, things don't go quite the way that you want it to go. Um, and people have a lot of things that they want to say. So it's great to know that you have coping mechanisms that we can all learn from, especially meditating and keeping your mind right and keeping people around you who support you and lift you up. So thank you so much for that, Aaron. We go on to uh, Mr. Sani Grandi, Anderson Subero. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Perfect. Now, as you mentioned, and as a student of the performing arts, and a professional performer, mm -hmm. what are some policy changes you'd like to see happen in the creative sector in Trinidad and Tobago? Some of those changes would be basically seeing more groups and more competitions because I believe that we have a lot of passionate young students, young people, even adults that have a lot of talent, but we have no avenue to share we don't have a plat. We have platforms, but not as many in certain areas as well, which is also one of the um, reasons why I started a dance group called Legacy mm -hmm. in the Grandi District, so that we can have that area, that platform, and make a door for others. Thank you so much for that, Anderson. I completely agree. And mm -hmm. I have to say, um, people like Crowns and Sashes truly give creatives and people on a whole, something to look forward to. And this is definitely a forum where you can share um, the things that you're most passionate about. And I can say that firsthand. And as a dancer, if you guys have not seen the talent videos, I know this is way past it, but you guys need to see what super men are bringing to the table. Just, just a little tidbit. Now we go over to Mr. San Juan, Sean Gabriel. How are you? I am great. We're ready for this. Lovely. Let's go. Cool. Albert Einstein once said, a person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. Since you are relatively new to this pageant environment, can you share with us some of the things that you have learned about yourself? Oh, excellent question. Firstly, one of the major things I've learned is that it's okay to be open. They definitely teach you while in pageantry that it's good to show personality it's good to show that you have a caring side it is especially motivating to know that once i do open up to these people around me that i have so much support it's been pouring in and it's something that i would always encourage people to partake in pageantry for many times we are homes we have homes where people don't have that support that they necessarily need when it comes to the emotional traumas that some of us go through and through this, through this pageantry, it's good to see that we now have that. We now have people we can call upon who can reassure us that everything is going to be okay. So that is one of the major things I've learned, and I'm appreciative for that. Thank you so much for that, Sean. You literally gave me goosebumps when you said that, because I truly feel exactly what you're saying. You guys are literally brothers, and you touched on something. You mentioned a word, trauma which is actually a part of our next delegate's question. So we go on to Mr. Diego Martin, Winter Nissan. How are you? I am great, Janelle. How are you? I am great. I'm actually loving this right now. I am great. So let's get into it. Original pain therapy teaches that childhood trauma is deeply rooted in our early adolescent years, between zero to 12 years. If you could speak to your 12-year-old self, what would you say to him today? Not to take things too seriously and to embrace myself a bit more. I've learned quite recently of my power, something I definitely didn't know I had within me due to many challenges as a child. And I would tell him that it's okay. You are enough. You shouldn't take things as serious as you should normally do. And it's okay to be yourself. Thank you. I love that. It's okay to be yourself. But I think oftentimes we get caught up with the world, with social media, and we think that we need to be someone else. So it's a very short but powerful message to be yourself. And 12-year-old Janelle could definitely learn that <laughs> or two. We head all the way east 
to Mr. Arima, Jonathan Samuel. How are you? Yes, Jonathan. <laughs> I am great. Thank you. How are you doing so far? I am fantastic. I'm just loving the outfit choices of everyone. You guys really came through today. Really, really came through. All right. So, Jonathan, let's talk. Fragile masculinity refers to anxiety felt by men who believe they are failing and falling short of cultural standards of manhood. Have you ever had an experience whereby these cultural standards have made you feel like you do not fit in? Yes, um, unfortunately so. Growing up, there has always been a standard of what masculinity should be and what men should do and should not do. And I'm very happy that now these stereotypical norms are being changed, especially through what we in this group are doing here. We are stepping out of that stereotype of what men should and should not do. And we're continuing to break those barriers and making way for generations of young men to come. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Jonathan. You guys are literal trailblazers. You guys are tripping over myself. And I hope you guys know that. I hope you really know that you are inspiring a group of people, both men and women, to really come into themselves and be the person that they are destined to be. So I have to thank you and commend you all for that. And then we go last, but certainly not least, Mr. Sean Paul, not from Jamaica, but from Separia. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Uh, <laughs> I... All right. So we have your final question for you this evening. Poland has an impressive 16 World Heritage Sites, which if you were to win Mr. Supranational Trinidad and Tobago, which of our local heritage or historical sites would you like to promote as an ambassador? Most definitely, I would like to promote the Temple Adisi. I believe it's one of the most unique forums of religious practices and where it's located and situated in our country, it shows how our culture is so open and so diverse into becoming something that not everyone may know. It's like, where would you see a temple in the sea in a Caribbean island? So I would definitely promote such if I was given the opportunity as the ambassador. Thank you so much for that, Sean Paul. You literally just took me back to being seven or eight in primary school. I think the first time I visited the temple on the sea, it was a field trip. Because um, you know when you're in primary school, your field trips take you all over Trinidad and Tobago. All right, guys. So that was the end of your super chat. You can breathe easy now. Everything is over. Everything is going to be okay. You guys are absolutely inspirational and in the words of real truth telling and vulnerability from all the supermen here this evening, I think you all should give yourself a massive, massive, massive pat on the back or round of applause silently for the amazing work that you just did. So it's over. But now, judges, this is your time to give your score to the person that you think deserve to go to the second round. And for those who are at home or watching us, Hi. You can go onto our website, that's www.crownsandfashestt.com to vote for your favorite delegates. Or vote for all because they're all amazing. But your favorite contestant to this round goes on to the final for our super chat. You guys know what super chat means to me that I hold this very near and dear to my heart. But honestly, it's not about taking home that title. Shame as proud for Trinidad and Tobago. But it's really about having the opportunity to speak um, about things from your heart, things that you are passionate about, so that people can see that behind your sash and your crown and your beautiful and handsome faces, that there is something more that you can give and that you have a story to tell and you're here to say it loud and proud. I am inspired by all of these inspirational and aspirational young men and good luck to you guys in the rest of this competition so this journey is not over yet this is the first episode of super chat with jen don't forget to vote for your favorite contestant and don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms so that you can see the amazing work 
that these young men are doing. This is why I love the Miss Supranational organization because it truly gives us a platform that we can speak about things that we are passionate about and they are here to celebrate differences because truly it's the thing that brings us together. This is the end. The first episode with Super Chat with Janet. Thank you so much for being here with us this evening. Remember that voting opens on March 6th and ends on March the 11th, 2020. So that's Monday to Friday. You guys just have five days to vote for your favorite contestant. And remember, whoever wins goes straight to the top three in the final night. Okay, guys, from all of us here, from crowns and sashes, continue to stay safe and always be kind to one another. Bye.